different. I'm doing a bit of a series at the minute. Now, this series isn't going to be like every week, sort of an exact time, day or anything like that. This is going to be as and when. But we're doing other people's Harry Potter collection, which I thought would be really fun to do. We've basically seen all of mine up to date. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to see other people's. It doesn't matter how big or small somebody's collection is, even if you just want to show me how it's displayed. But if you want me to show people your Harry Potter collection, then get in touch. Let's do this. So today I am at my friend Lisa's house. Um, we're actually going to have to do hers in three parts because she's got quite a big collection. Um, but it's a gorgeous collection and I can't wait to show you. So we're going to do it in three parts. We're going to do it over the next three Mondays. So obviously today's Monday then next Monday and then the Monday after. Today we're starting with sort of licensed products like Mina Lima, Noble Collection, and yeah, I'm really excited to get on with it. So if you wanna see Lisa's amazing collection, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you. A massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know any more about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video, along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. So we're gonna start off in this cabinet and on the top shelf, we have got the Philosopher's Stone from Noble Collection in the back there. It's such a gorgeous stone. If you've seen my video of mine, I absolutely love it so much, but the only thing that bugs me is it says the Sorcerer's Stone and we know it over here as the Philosopher's Stone. I want to see if I can get a plaque for mine. Then we've got the Ravenclaw diadem. I need this so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the shine on that. And then here we have Bellatrix's dagger. I love this dagger so much. I love inside the box as well. Look at that red velvet. It's absolutely gorgeous in a really creepy way because obviously it's not nice what Bellatrix used that dagger for. Then we've got Lisa Sattler, which is laughing at me. Um, then we've got the Prophecy Orb. I love this orb, but the only... Can you take the base off? Yeah. The black base, can you? Yeah, okay. I think you can. Oh, because I've you never wanted it. it I think you might break it. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want to break oh. it. I'm not touching it. But uh, Lisa said she thinks she might be able to take the black base off, but it's the only thing that's put me off this. I get it because if you have it a bit at the back of a shelf, it's raised. But I suppose, really, you could do that yourself. So I wish they'd do it without the black base. On to the second shelf. Hello. We've got the golden egg at the back. The more I look at this egg, the more I want one in my collection. It's so nice. The only reason why I didn't want it was because it doesn't open, but it's absolutely stunning. And I really do want one now because it would look amazing on my Yule shelf. Then we've got the Mirror of Erised from Noble Collection in the back there. They've got a newer version out now, but I have to say I do prefer this older version. I love the colour of it. It's more of a unique, not unique antique look to it mm. unique <clears throat> then we've got a dementor orb here from noble collection focus thank you that is really really nice i absolutely love it i did try and pick it up a minute ago off camera but then i put it down because i thought i'm gonna break it then i'm taking this home it's like a sour glass i absolutely love it and this is the first time i think i've seen it in the flesh properly it's absolutely stunning my favorite your favourite thing. This is Lisa's favourite thing in her collection. It is absolutely stunning. I really want one. It's gorgeous. On to the third shelf. This is a nice shelf. So at the back we've got Felix Felicis from Noble Collection. That's actually really nice. I've not actually seen that in the flesh anywhere. That's really nice. And same with the Love Potion one there. I've not seen that. They're really cute. Oh, they're really dinky. Are they wearable? Yeah. You get a train at the back. That's really cool. Oh, I like them. And then we've got a Slytherin locket. I love the Slytherin locket. The only thing is with the Slytherin... Do you find that, Lisa? With the Slytherin locket, it's um, plasticky. Yeah. I one, wish it was more was shiny. Anyway. Oh, you've got the one. fake one. And yeah. then this is the... Real obviously, one. the real one. Is it? Yeah, they're both exactly the same as well, aren't they? In material. Yeah. yeah. It just has that matte... It's Because it's a matte finish, it makes me feel that it's... um. It feels plasticky. Mm. That's the only downfall for me. Then we've got, obviously, Marvelo Gaunt's ring at the back there. I absolutely love that. I think it's gorgeous. And then, if you can see, you can just see the Deathly Hallows symbol in the stone. It's so cool, that is. 
Then we've got your famous Time Turner. Oh, it's so beautiful. I haven't worn mine for ages. And then the Hufflepuff cup. I like the Hufflepuff cup. It's actually one of my favourite things in my collection. It's so beautiful. It's got a good weight to it as well. And then something I don't have in my collection again. We have got Rita Skeeter's quill. Oi. Um, excuse me. I just wanted you to feel it again. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> And then we've got the Tri Wizard Cup back there. How much is the Tri Wizard Cup? Um, I think it's about eighty. About eighty quid. I really want that. I've got the one from Warner Brothers. You know the it's one that not lights up. To the black thing either. You can have it separate. Oh, so yeah, this is on a black base, but it does come off, which is really cool. That is absolutely gorgeous, though. Oh, guys, look at it's that. Heavy as well. Is it? Mm. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I like it. So yeah, that's the third shelf. We're going to move on to the fourth shelf now. Oh, look at this bottom shelf, guys. So we have got... <coughs> what are these? They're the um, bookmarks, aren't they? Yeah, bookmarks, book that's it. The Horcrux bookmarks. They're really nice. I definitely want them in my collection now. I'm seeing them. Look at the little Slytherin locket. That's really nice. Then we've got Tom Marvelo's uh tom marvelo riddle's diary in the back there the destroyed version i've not actually seen that before obviously i know it exists i don't mean that obviously um but i've not seen it in the flesh it's actually really nice i like the detailing on it it is really nice that and then we've got a chocolate frog down here we all love a chocolate frog then we've got the golden snitch that is gorgeous that golden snitch do they still do that, that golden snitch? I think so, yeah. yeah, it's really nice. Mm. And then, of course, we have the crystal goblet that Dumbledore drinks from in Half Blood Prince. I have to say, that's it's one of my favourites. That it's a really nice piece to have. Then we've got three dragons here. You can't get them anymore, can you? No. And Lisa was bought one every year for her birthday when they yep. came out. Yep. But then they, she didn't get the fourth one. Was it the Welsh Green? Yeah. The Welsh Green. She didn't get the Welsh Green because they'd stopped doing them, unfortunately. So if anybody's got a Welsh Green that they uh, don't want anymore, Lisa needs one <laughs> to get in touch. But yeah, so we've finished in the glass cabinet. Look, I don't want to get up and being lazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's the glass cabinet. We're going to move on to some other bits now around the room. Hello. Hello, Luna. We can have you part of the collection because your name's Luna. So this is part of Lisa's collection. This is Luna the cat. You are beautiful. Before we start filming this side, guys, can we just appreciate this gorgeous Marauders map wallpaper? I want it. I'm going to take it off the wall and take it home. <laughs> so you'll probably recognise this guy. Madai Moody's staff. This was actually mine, but it now lives at Lisa's and I can come see it whenever I want. But yeah, Madai Moody's staff. Obviously, this is very hard to get hold of now. Very rare, but I just love the detail on this. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I will link the video of the staff that I did properly up there because you can see it in better detail. But yeah, absolutely love that. Then we've got Lisa's wand. So this, let me see if I know. That's Lupin's wand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Snape's. Mm -hmm. Luna's. Mm -hmm. Whose is this one? That's Bellatrix's wand. Bellatrix is wand after. after. I've not seen after that. It gets stolen, she gets a new one. Oh, so this is Bellatrix's newest wand. After she gets the other one stolen. I've not actually seen that one. Then we've got, is this one of the new ones? Yeah, the Dark Arts one. So we've got the Dark Arts wand that Warner Brothers are doing, one of the new ones. We've got the Hufflepuff Cup one. Uh, the Slytherin Locket. Mm -hmm. What's this one? That's nice. That's this um, sword. Oh, the sword. The sword, but the sword's silver. I know, but they've done it gold. Well, I wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me. It's still nice, though. And then, of course, my house wand. We've got the Ravenclaw wand. We have got the Hogwarts Castle wand. That is actually really nice. I like the detail on that. Yes. It's gorgeous. Then we've got Narcissa's wand. I know that one because I like that woman. Mm -hmm. Then we've got, obviously, Dumbledore's wand. I am right, aren't I? Yeah, from Fantastic. 
yeah, Dumbledore's one from Fantastic Beasts. I was questioning my knowledge then. And then at the back here, we've got Sirius's wand. They look really nice in that. Is this a proper Nabel Collection yeah. wand stand as well? Yeah. That's really nice. And then over here, we have... This is from Zavi, this mirror. <clears throat> she told me. It's really, really nice. It's a good size as well. <laughs> I have to if there's a mirror. And then up here, we have got some really nice artwork. This is all Mina Lima. So we've got the Ravenclaw diadem. We've got Rita's, Rita's Keaton's quill, for the love of Merlin. Umbridge's quill! Umbridge's quill! <laughs> and then here we've got a nice potion. Oh, oh, is that like off the book, the advanced potion making book? I think so. I yeah. think it is that artwork. Mm -hmm. But they're really nice. Oh, and they're numbered as well. So that's number 547 out of 1,000, 207 out of 1,000, and then 137 out of 1,000. Yeah, they're really nice. They look nice against the wallpaper too, Lisa. Yeah. They're really nice. <laughs> And then I know we we love to hate the person that owns these things, but these cat plates are amazing. Umbridge's cat plates. Lisa told me these are from a loot crate box. I really, really, they're so colourful. Do you know what? I hate Umbridge, but I love her, and I just love the whole Umbridge aesthetic. It's so nice, but they're so cool. Look at the cute cats. Not as cute as you, though. No, hello. Over here we have the more known Bellatrix dagger on its stand with a mini Bellatrix mask. I really like this. It is really nice that. Oh, there's so much I want. I'm taking so much home with me today. And then up here, this is from Mr. Magic. Mr. Magic. Um, I haven't seen a lot of what they do, but they do sound really cool. Lisa seems to be bigging them up, so I need to look further into them. Um, but it actually tells you from your birth date what your uh, magical creature is so feel free to pause it to have a look at yours and mine is a hippogriff that's mine because my birthday is the 18th of august so clever adventurous proud and confident yes that's me look at the gold foiling that is actually really nice mr magic well done i really like the idea of that but yeah feel free to pause it and have a look what your um magical creature is from your birth date and let me know in the comments and then along here we have the Gryffindor sword look at its shine so it says Godric Gryffindor on there Harry Potter look at the detailing on the handle I don't know what you call the handle of a sword if I'm shaking I'm sorry guys I'm lent over a desk <laughs> oh it's oh, it's huge I can't come back with it because part three is next to me <laughs> so i can't come back so i'm having to show you it like this but it's absolutely stunning i love the case it's on as well and then up here we've got a bit of dark arts lisa is a slytherin after all we've got lucius malfoy's mask we have got the deaf and mask collection they actually look really cool i like them and then over here we've got Bellatrix the Stranger's mask, and you can see the Velcro. You cannot; they are wearable. Is the is Lucius's yeah, wearable? wearable. They're really cool. Oh, I love dark hearts. <laughs> I'm a Ravenclaw that loves dark hearts. <laughs> I've got a lot of Slytherin in me, <laughs> but yeah, they're really cool. I love how they're displayed together as well. And then here we've got a framed row of film cells one from each of the films that is actually really cool to have in your collection the philosopher's stone chamber of secrets prison of Azkaban, goblet of fire the history of harry potter original film cell limited edition number 12 and then the order of the phoenix half of prince definitely Hallows part one and part two that is actually really cool to have in your collection and then here we have a framed uh picture of Snape obviously signed by Alan Rickman that is absolutely amazing to have in your collection bless him that is really nice and here we've got Lucius Malfoy's cane that is so detailed oh I like it let me take that home with me kind of reminds me of Mary Poppins this cane's always reminded me of Mary Poppins her umbrella I don't know why I don't know why because it's not even a snake on her umbrella I don't know what it is. it's a bird some sort of bird because it talks to her i can't remember have you no. seen mary poppins i haven't seen it for a long time okay <laughs> you need it if anyone agrees with me let me know in the comments 
It's probably just me, but it reminds me of Mary Poppins. And then, am I alright taking this out? I'm not gonna break it, am I? No. What do you do? Put, just get a hold of the snake. Yeah. Pull it up. Oh, there we go. And then, obviously, just like in the films, it's his wand as well. Something else I'm taking home with me. <laughs> but yeah, that is really nice. So, here we've got the quick quotes quill um, and notepad from Rita Skeeter. This is hard to get hold of, isn't it? Now, it is, yeah. obviously, on the end, but on there, look, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Universal Orlando. This is so nice. Let's open it up and have a look. Oh, I've not held this before. I think it's the first time I've seen it. <gasps> look, how cool is this? Oh, look at the detailing. That is really nice. And then we've got the notepad there. Oh, that's really nice. I love how this is presented. It's really cool. Where did you get this from? Was it eBay you got mm. this from? It's really, really cool. That's the thing, guys. You have to keep your eye out on things like eBay because you never know what you could find. She only paid £35 for it. She only paid £35 for it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's really good. Look out for these bargains on eBay, guys. Then we've got, is this Noble Collection? Noble Collection, platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express sign. I really like this to scale against my hand. It's quite big. It's really nice. It was up on a shelf, but I had to bring it down because what's on there is for part two. But yeah, they're so nice. Do they still do these? I really want one. There's so much I want. I'm going to have a bag full. <laughs> what I leave here. And then I'll over here. Your bag. You will, I know. <laughs> And then over here we've got the Hogwarts castle. Oh my god, it's stunning. This is one that Amazon did. And before I show you the rest of the castle, there's a little drawer here and it had the DVDs in it. Yeah. In there. Sorry, I wasn't even showing you. But yeah. Oh, look at it. The detailing is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've got my studio light on it. Don't break it. Oh. Oh no, I can't. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. I'll tell you what, let's see if I can... Oh, you can see it. It's fine. We'll do this. Oh, look at it, guys. Look. Oh, the little greenhouses. Oh, they've not missed anything detail-wise. Oh, the owlery's at the back. Oh, look. Will this fit in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> let's do a bird's eye view of hogwarts oh it's stunning and this is the last item for part one look at this fox it's amazing and obviously this is what turns into ashes when it gets old and then obviously he's reborn again and goes back on his perch that is so cool and it's heavy i have held this and it is heavy but let me turn him round and you can have a look at him oh he's beautiful I do think the detail on these licensed products, it's gorgeous. Little fox. So then part of profits, that was part one of Lisa's collection. What did you think? So yeah, we covered all the the licensed sort of products in this one and obviously the beautiful wall art. You're gonna enjoy part two and three though. Honestly, I thought I was obsessed. But guys, is there anything in Lisa's collection that you've seen so far that you really, really want in yours? There is so much that I am taking home with me today. No, you're not. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you've got out of what you've seen today, what you're really, really wanting in your collection. Everything I've looked at today, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's pieces that I've got that I recommend. The only thing for me is the Slytherin locket that I've got so far that I'm a bit like, mm, I recommend it. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't, it's not something that easily breaks or anything like that. I just, I'm not keen on the look of it, but that's just personal preference. But yeah, Ravenclaw Diadem is a want. I'm kind of liking the Prophecy Orb now. I've seen it in the flesh. That Dementable is really nice. But yeah, there's so much. But yeah, let Lisa know what you think in the comments to her collection so far. But yeah, we've got a part two and three coming up. And uh, yeah, if you want anything, you know, if you want to be involved in showing your collection off on the channel, let me know. Get in touch with me on my social medias. But yeah, I'm going to go now, guys. See you all in part two. Because we are filming all three parts in one day. And I will speak to you all anyway in my next video. Bye, Potter Bobbits.